Uh, INSA is one of the main engineering schools in France because it graduates more than 7% of all the engineers graduated in France. Since that date, uh, I teach uh, at the mechanical engineering department focusing on modeling, simulation and control of po mechanical power transmission systems, especially for aerospace. In parallel, I have a research activity at Institut Clément Ader, which merges in midi pyrenees all the activity uh, related to the mechanical domain. And within this laboratory, I develop uh, an activity that is related to embedded actuation systems. And of course, in Toulouse, embedded actuation systems means aerospace. For me, the main issues for the aerospace industry is to face uh, some uh, challenges uh, between uh, incremental uh, innovation and uh, uh, major steps uh, that make some ruptures. So typically the problem is to have uh, a view at, uh, at the global product, which is to move persons from one side to another side, uh, being uh, greener, safer and cheaper. So today there is a, a big challenge in being able to design better and faster systems which involve more interactions between domains, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, informatics and so, and so on. So for our engineering challenges, uh, MSIP is interesting because, it, it, because of uh, the structuration of the model that has a uh, 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 high influence on the, the use of the model. So we are able to structure a model to think about uh, uh, interfaces and sh something that we can uh, very trust in is the reliability of the numerical solver. That is sometimes forgotten by the user, they only want results. If we change the solver, we change the results. For MSIM, we can be very confident in the solver. For the flight control uh, design, we have many things that have changed the modeling and simulation process due to the switch between technologies. At first, we were mechanically signaled and hydraulically powered. And finally, it was a situation that was quite well established since uh, uh, for hydraulically powered since the early 60s and for uh, fly-by-wire for electrically signaled since uh, the early uh, uh, 80s for commercial aircraft. So this has generated a step in signaling. Then we had a step in powering by more electrical aircraft when we have to provide power to the actuators of the flight controls by means of electrical power. And this generates a, a very high change, which requires the engineer to, uh, to have new approach. They can no more rely on the process they use for another technology, because we have some uh, side effects that belong to a given technology. For these new technologies of actuators, especially considering powering, the interest of AMSIM, that, uh, that was one of the first uh, simulation tools to provide, is uh, to be able to combine different physical domain, mechanics, electrics, electrotechnics, uh, power electronics, hydraulics, and so on, thermal. So now we have to address wider and wider domains. And as actuators involve mechanics, uh, electrotechnology, sometimes hydraulics with uh, electrohydrostatic actuators, we have to be able to invest investigate a product which requires models in each domain. And finally, AMSIM is quite uh, easy to use because we have very structured libraries that enable addressing all these domains with uh, uh, given interfaces, given parameterization, and that is well in phase with the demand.